Ari, Akamai has already defined computing at the edge. Now with Akamai Inference Cloud, you are aiming to redefine how AI operates globally. Tell us about this evolution and how it builds on Akamai's heritage at the edge. The biggest change that we've seen in the industry is that content is going from a static asset to something that is generated by compute on the fly in real time. And so what we've partnered with NVIDIA to do is to take the benefits of Akamai Cloud and our distributed global network, Akamai Security, and to combine those capabilities into what we're calling the Akamai Inference Cloud, powered by NVIDIA's Blackwell architecture and enterprise AI. And basically the promise and the, the vision of the platform is to extend all of that intelligence from AI factories, from a centralized core asset where intelligence lives to turn into actions and outcomes for our customers closer to where machines and users will interact with that data and want to derive intelligence. That's something that Akamai has been great at to scale the internet up until this point. And as we look at the, the web and the internet becoming more of a machine to machine interaction, more inference is going to be the way that applications and experiences are created. And eventually we'll move into a machine to machine agentic web. That is where we're deploying dense computing with NVIDIA support so that we can ready our, our application network to become a generative network for the future of real-time content generation and distribution. As you rightly mentioned, this collaboration with NVIDIA seems to be at the heart of the launch. How do Akamai's massive global edge infrastructure and NVIDIA's Blackwell AI technology come together to create something new for enterprise AI? So enterprises right now across every vertical, every industry are adapting to what AI means means the way that users find them today is increasingly being shaped by LLMs, whether it's Gemini search or if they're searching through JetGPT or another vehicle like that. And so that is starting to put a thumb on the scale for how users are actually finding brands, finding content and experiencing the, the intelligence that they experience, because what they are being shown is now changing in the face of, of AI-based search. It's not just search. It's also the way that we're creating and consuming content. We are creating better capability to consume uh, augmented reality, virtual reality, and that's powered by 8K video. 8K video is something that Akamai has been great at delivering when possible, when we actually have devices that we can deliver to. But when you think about real-time capture and egress of things like sporting events or anomalies that you might capture really in any sort of a video capture use case, the problem is always getting that raw video from the capture to whoever needs to consume it without a loss of quality, without any sort of, of errors or anomalies in the feed, but also doing it in a cost-effective and real-time fashion. Akamai is adapting our existing capabilities for Akamai Cloud and security to now add generative capabilities in distributing both GPUs and enterprise AI software to enable businesses to go from the AI factories that they use to build and create their core intelligence to then distributing that intelligence and creating better time mapping to the right models, to the right infrastructure, and ultimately maximizing real-time interactions at the internet edge in, in a way that the industry is just on the precipice of, of really requiring. But based on the announcement that we heard yesterday during Jensen Wong's keynote, this is going to be the big scaling um, event for AI that we have been building towards with all the work that we've done training models and building AI factories. The next scaling phase is going to be multi-step inference and long thinking. And that's where we see enterprises investing in building new agents, building new experiences, and requiring a distributed platform like Akamai to help them from going from yesterday's applications and how they're adapting them today to what they want to build into the future and where their businesses are going to go tomorrow.